Welcome to part 12 of Mafia, the Definitive Edition. And in this episode, we're going to make up for the hooch that was completely destroyed and overran in part 9 by the Morello gang. Hopefully they don't strike again. However, there is one thing I need to point out. If you don't remember a person named Carlo, uh, he's one of ours, but you'll end up forgetting him by the beginning of next part. Trust me on that. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. All right, folks. We're going to be going for a drive over to the meat. This is going to be the first escort mission. And, oh god, the slowdown is real. My god, look at the slowdown. And this is from the PS2. I didn't even do this. Bruh, this is like the second time that actually happened. And now it just went back to regular frame rates. The shenanigans is real, bro. I didn't, I missed this in the recording. I didn't even think it was that slow. I thought it was running a normal uh, speed, but I, I, so far, shenanigans have been happening throughout the entirety of this playthrough. Damn microphone cut off, and as I was about to say, bullshit like a pop-up pedestrian almost got the cop's attention right there. But yeah, this game was full of shenanigans, and it's just the 12th part. And speaking of shenanigans, I did not mean to hurt myself, but uh, I'm trying to get through these cars that is just standing there doing nothing. Oh, and now they move when I move. See? Shenanigans. <sighs> At least we're not taunted. That's a good thing. Because I'm pretty sure this meat was timed in the PS2 version. In fact, I'm positive it was. Yeah, I told you, man. The original PS2 version of Mafia is hard as hell. Definitive Edition is the best version to play. 
despite the uh, definitive edition bullshit and shenanigans that I've been going through throughout the entirety of this playthrough. Uh, is there anything else I need to mention? Oh, right! You can't go to Vincenzo. I thought you could. In the last two parts, you can't. You'll probably be able to do so next part. Because you will have to get strapped specifically for a very tough mission. But whatever the case, we're going to uh, drive there and hopefully things go as planned. Despite the bitching and complaining about this whole entire ordeal between Carlo and uh, Polly. But no, Polly's an asshole. I, I can assure you. And if he's not, Sam is too. Oh, and uh, now that I think about it, this would be the perfect time to point out that 2K Games and Hangar 15 has pretty much announced Mafia 4 is going to be the prequel leading up to the events of the original Mafia 1. Like how the Salieri's got into business in the first place. And probably how Frank thought it was a good idea to betray um, Salieri. Yeah. So many things has happened as of late. Between the announcement, also the firing of the guy who was making Mafia the Definitive Edition. Oh yeah, I could tell you Mafia 4 is going to be a train wreck if not done properly. And of course it's going to have the loot boxes and microtransactions because 2K thinks microtransactions are freedom of speech. Yeah, real, real retarded if you ask me. So yeah, now that you're here, we're going to have to drive up to the top floor to meet our friends of the meat. Yeah, I'm talking over a cutscene, but this is a temporary one, and it's not even that long. Anyhow, we're going to have to be careful, because, again... Some of these cars have no handling. This car is one of them. So far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Yeah, the green one's fast. The blue one, it's fast with no handling. There's other cars that has good handling, and there's some that don't. I miss my white limousine. That actually had some good handling. Ah, uh, yes. Too bad we have no access to Vincenzo or Ralphie until the next mission. So... With that said, we should be heading towards our destination, and we'll probably have to park. Hopefully, things do not go awry. Well, there's Paul, and now all we have to do, I mean, Sam, sorry, and now all we have to do is park over here. What could possibly go wrong? Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Oh, damn it, Polly! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Come on! Get, oh, damn it! Get together, Polly! God damn it! Hey, hey! Over here! Turn 
turns out the Morellos was waiting for us before we could fake the robbery of the deal. As in somebody knew we were doing this. Oh man. Whatever the case, Tommy guns and uh, regular handguns are your best friends. Because let's be honest with you, you're going to need them. Your way down is going to be treacherous. But let's first check on, uh, let's check on Gates to see if he's okay. And yeah, I'm talking over this, but, uh, here's the thing. This will be the last time we see Gates. Gates will survive. The problem is his product. And that is the whole entire crux of this mission. Making sure that these dumbass gangsters don't blow up his pro product the way that they pretty much ransacked most of the Canadian whiskey back in part 9. So yeah. God damn it, aiming. Aim! At the gangsters! Kinda wish I had a grenade right about now. Dude, shoot him in the head. Thank you. And hide behind cover. Well, there is a first gate kit over there, so I'll be able to survive and kill these guys later. Quick, get the first aid! Ah! Thank you. Well, I thought that was Polly. No, that wasn't. I think that was one of ours. Ah, damn, that was one of ours. Right in the damn temple. Now that was glorious. Yeah, you stay down there. I'm gonna grab this. So now we just gotta try to find cover, but most importantly, make sure the truck doesn't take too much damage. Because whatever damage that this truck takes, by the time... We fi oh god, I forgot this part. Yeah, the car explodes. So the fire would get a little bit too close. Here's the thing. If that fire persists, the truck will end up getting caught in the crossfire. So we have only a limited amount of time to try to find the sprinklers and put out the fire before it gets to the truck. Because if it gets to the truck, it's going to automatically blow up all the whiskey. Because that is actual... Oh, wait, there's a... Gangster here? There's a gangster here! As I was saying, that's a that the whiskey is flammable and it will blow up, destroying the truck and killing Sam. So with that said, I got a grenade, I got me some health, and I'm gonna turn this valve here to shut off the fire so that way the truck can pass without being burnt to smithereens. Alright, we've got one more checkpoint before we actually get to the harder part and that is a car chase all right we just need to get through this last portion of the parking lot and we're good to go oh and i thought that it was safe apparently not hey i gotta give Polly some credit he may be an asshole but he knows how to shoot unlike a certain someone i know who, by the way, is aiming for the head, and for some reason, the gun is missing. Oh, wait, that's Polly. There we go. Anybody else? I'm getting a gun. Nope, that's Polly. There's a guy hiding behind a car. I can't find him. Where is he? There he is. Uh, bitch. Now go home and get your shine box. And now, we're at the last stretch. We just gotta kill all the guys here and grab the nearest vehicle. Well, first let me heal. Definitely. Then grab the nearest vehicle. Oh wait, there's nobody there. Uh, well then, there's the nearest vehicle and... Oh right, I gotta talk to Sam. I gotta talk to Sam. Damn it. Let me do that first. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. And now we've come to the hardest part. Remember when I accidentally opened fire on the cops? Yeah, now would be a perfectly good time to actually pull that out. Because you see, as we're running away and trying to escort Sam to safety, 
Morello's goons are going to come after him. And sure enough, here they are. We got more guys on us. And they got caught by a truck. That's hilarious. However, you want to know what's not hilarious? As soon as we fall behind, their car blows up. However, the truck was claimed to be destroyed. Wait, what? No. Here's the thing. The truck automatically rams the tails and they don't get hit. Hit and the truck had full health. Somehow the truck was pretty much destroyed. All health gone instantly. What the fuck? You know what? No, 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 no. Shenanigans, shenanigans. I, I know I'm raging over a game, but, but this is some bullshit right here. However. The bullshittery is about to come to an end. And for the record, I did not shoot at the truck. I was too far away from the truck. And that explosion like that somehow caused the truck to actually lose all of its health instantly. Bullshit. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just drive to safety, and any Morello cars that come in, you pop a cap in them. Come on, pop a cap in them. And they're in the way. Oh, just for the record, you can also ram them too. Just like what the truck is doing right now, and it only took small portions of health as opposed to... Blowing up entirely on the first ram. Uh, how did that even fucking happen? I don't even know. I I'm just as puzzled as everybody else. Now, I'm trying to slow down because I don't want that to happen. Me being hit by invisible objects. And, of course, I got hit by invisible objects. Again. And that's the thing. This game is unfinished. No, this game is unpolished because why is there invisible objects in your way of a car chase? At least that wasn't in the past version of this game. We just had to run those guys off the road. That's all we had to do in the last one. You know, in the uh, original version. But we gotta catch up to the truck. Otherwise... Oh no, I did not mean to do that! They're too far ahead. However, here's the messed up part. Even though they're too far ahead. Even though they're too far ahead. And they're almost at... Oh my... What? I was about to say even though they're too far ahead. They were at the destination anyway. Frank just went there and knocked... Not Frank. Sam, sorry. Sam just knocked them out. Easily. I'm sitting here looking at, at the cars. Like, wait, wait, where are they? I'm still baffled because there was literally two cars on Sam, and so long as his tail was on Sam, it wasn't going to make it to the distillery the last time I tried this in the original. He just made the block, and we had to, like, lose the tail before we brought it back. But, uh, apparently Sam destroyed the tail! Let me make sure, because, uh, I'm still flabbergasted at to everything that has happened thus far. This is one completely ass backwards playthrough I don't know if this is my best or my worst but you have seen the shenanigans from part one all the way till now I have nothing else to say except this game is busted as fuck he got rid of his own tail hmm funny that Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder. But uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble.
Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, the great deal is done. Now, as to who leaked that deal, we're going to deal with him in part 13. This is Arvyman 985. See you guys next time. And if you forgot who Carlo is, you'll forget him by the end of the next part.